Hello again. So now it's time to change uh, the tires of the Tenere. Um, I'm in my little shed um, with the bike and I'm going to use the tools that I have. I don't have the full tire changing setup and all the uh, nice tools that you can that you could have. It's not going to be like on the trail. I have a little more like that, but I'll show you in a second. Um, but yeah, so this is what I'm going to change to. Hang on. So these are the Motos Tractionator Adventure. Okay, so I'm going to start with um, the rear tire. I have the standard Pirelli Rally STRs on. I put them on when I don't have anything else, but I, I like more aggressive tires for off-road and so on. So now I have a new uh, pair. So they still have a lot of meat on them, but I'm going to change them anyway. Save them for a rainy day. Actually, they are good in the wet, so literally a rainy day. Uh, I'm going to put on the Motos Tractionator Adventure. Okay, so these are the tools that I use. I have the Rally Raid wrench or multi tool. I'm going to use that um, just to show you that, but I'm going to use a um, torque wrench when I fasten again. I have the 10 and the 12 millimeter to. Um, th that's only for the front tire actually, um, to loosen the pinch bolts and, and the brake caliper. I have the tire irons and I use these to make it a little bit easier, especially on the front tire, and some grease. I also use a hammer, but not in the obvious way. Uh, I'll show you. Okay, so let's start with the rear tire. I'm going to use the Rally Raid uh, tool. So this is more of a trail tool, but I'd like to show you that one. And you get that off like that. Okay, so let's get this bolt out. I'm going to wedge my foot under the tire to lift it up a bit. Okay, and now we get the, the chain off the sprocket. Like this, it comes, comes off really easy. Remove the brake on the other side, just lift it off the disc, put it to the side, and the wheel comes off. Make sure that you get the spacers on both sides. So on the disc side, there's a small spacer. On the drive side, there's a bigger spacer. I, I like to remove this whole drive here, and you have all these. Uh, sort of shock dampers or wh whatever you call them that you can put up take out again like this because now there's nothing more to fall off you need a valve tool to screw this off with the valve stem out of the way I can work with it the tire like this so it's stable let's see if we can get this tire off of the rim then I take something in this case a hammer because it fits quite well under there and this is my bead breaker Other side, another bead, another battle. And the bead goes down. That's it. Give up. 
Move it along. It is off. Bloody hell. Hooray. Okay, next phase, get the tire on the rim. Let's go. To, to keep the bead in the middle on the opposite side, you can use one of these to uh, keep it compressed. So it prevents the, the tire from creeping back. Other side. Here is the ultra heavy duty. This is in the tube for from from the stock. So this feels more plastic. Uh, it's much thinner. It's like a bike tube. And this is much softer. I think it's four millimeters. Uh, the walls here. Good resistance even getting off. There! Okie doke. Now, let's get a rag. And make sure this rim is clean. Okie dokie. So now, let's get that uh, Motas on here. So first check, there is nothing inside the tire. This is just normal baby powder from the local supermarket. But you can't have too much. And it's cool if it's uh, a white cloud when you're riding. Get that tube in there. And some more. No red butt on this baby. Um, correct direction. All right, so let's get that grease. Grease and talk. First of all, we want to get um, uh, the valve into the rim like this. So put it close. Put the little thingy through the rim get the nut on there to keep it from sliding out. Now we just want to get rim inside the tire and voila! First rim is on. And the bead is on. No, the bead is not on but it's on the rim. So now next side. Get that grease on the rim, on the tire and we are close. It's on. Good, 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 good. The toughest part was getting the Pirellis off the rim because of the quite soft sidewall. So you better need better tools for that. But the motors, despite its reputation, comes on really nicely on the rim. So now get the valve stem into the valve and inflate put it back on the bike where it belongs one scary thing when you inflate this tire the first time I did that uh, I heard a long time I inflated it and I heard the, the, uh, the air leaving the tire so I thought I had a pinch flap it, it kept on uh, releasing the air I swore and damn I pinched the, the tube and I took everything off again it was uh, not a problem at all everything was intact but of course I mean 
you inflate the, the inner tube, there's a lot of air that needs to seep out through the, the uh, untight uh, rim. The, the air needs to escape somewhere, so it sounds like a flat for a while. Quite a while. So, so don't be scared. Uh, you need to, to wait longer to see if you have a pinch flat. The valve stem tool. Let's inflate. I heard there's a thing called compressors now. Amazing technology. And the pipe. These are lovely. Let's rub off some grease, like so, and so. Fitting this, it's just any way it fits, and just push it back in. So now we have the spacers for the for the tire. Let's get them clean. Get some grease on there. Okay, so let's get this uh, tire back on. Make sure you have everything here so you don't have to stand up again. The washer and the lock nut for the right side. Uh, the axle. Now assume the wedge position. So push the, just roll the tire back in all the way until it, as far as in as it comes, so you can get the chain back on. Um, on the right side, so take a screwdriver and separate the brake pads a little bit carefully. Make sure that you have the correct distance on the correct side. As you can see, this one has a much thicker part here, which is intended to stop the, the end bolt from rotating when it goes in like this. If you put this, and I have done that error, on the other side, on the other part, it will rotate when you tighten the nut. And get that. There we have it. Happy days, back wheel, motors, tractionator, adventure. Nineteen millimeter Allen. I will use the uh, torque wrench when I put it back on. We will need uh, ten millimeter uh, for the pinch bolts. Let's loosen them. Then you need the nineteen millimeter to get the bolt out, uh, the axle out, like this. And when you just pull this off, the tire comes loose, of course. But you will not get the, the tire out if you don't loosen at least one of the brake calipers. So I usually um, tighten, uh, loosen one of them. You need a 12 mil for that. So let's get this axle out. Loosen. Get the valve stem out. Let's um, take care of these spacers also. So, no. This is also a heavy duty, not ultra I think, or is it? Have a look at the rim. Great front tire. This, this tire is amazing. It's not even on the rim. I, I don't think I need an inner tube. I don't think I need air. I can't 
<laughs> I can run my bike on this with no tubes. Oh, let's keep more, 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 more. Baker man. Baker man. It's baking bread. So great for doctor things out there. Put the little thing in the in sloch. Let's do the greasy. Makes life so easy. We get the rim in the tire. Yeah. Apply some pressure on the height points and it's on. Thank you, Motas. I'm not going with the flow right now. I'm saying heavy duties are easier to install, and I'm saying Motas are easier to install than Pirellis. Something's not right. And yeah, always being careful with. A tube in there. Also again with the heavy duty they don't curl up in there. They stay nice in place so it's it's easier to not pinch uh, the tube. Make sure that the opposite end is in the middle of the rim. Makes life much easier. Uh, we're on. Yes! Okay, worst part of this so far, getting Pirellis off the rim without the proper bead tools. And the beat goes on. Okay, so two dirty spacers for the front. Let's clean them up. Push a, a flat head screwdriver and push the brake pads apart. This is the actual action. Actually, this is actually the actual action. And it comes along beautifully. And now let's kick that there. So the seventy two. And the deed is done. Now let's take this uh, motors tires for a spin. It was raining and now I'm about to get on the bike. Some sun comes out. Start engines. First gear. And off we go. Let's take pick up the speed. 70. No vibrations. 120. So there we have it. The Motas Adventure Tractionator installed. Happy. Perfect balance. I'm such a lucky guy. Um, these are the third pair of, of tires I have on this bike. I never had to balance for some reason. Uh, except the rear wheel actually once and that's after installing the ultra heavy tubes they add the uh, unbalance uh, to the wheel so but after that if you keep using the same 
uh, same uh, tube and so on. It's it's just so far I've just only had to switch tires and it works great. Ah, they look so awesome and they feel awesome. Okay, thank you. Hope you uh, got some hints or anyhow. I had a great time. Thank you. Bye bye.